Do you need to make an advert for Instagram in 2018? What is the best aspect ratio, length, and export settings in Premiere Pro? In this video, I'm going to cover all of the above and get you advertising your feed or your business in no time. Yeah. Before we begin, there's a couple of design points here that you need to be aware of. They don't want any black bars or they don't allow any black bars in your video. Your video will be rejected by Instagram if it has this. They recommend that you use a H.264 compression, square pixels, fixed frame rate, stereo AAC at 128 kilobytes per second. However, if you don't know what any of that means, it doesn't matter. You can just leave all the settings standard in Adobe Premiere and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. For the video file size, they recommend four gigabytes as the maximum. The maximum length of video that they allow is 60 seconds. However, for an, for an advert that we're gonna be making, the maximum video length is 15 seconds. They also recommend having less than 20% text in the thumbnail and this will help for the SEO of the video and allow the video to basically get seen by more people. You don't want them to limit your video because of text. The aspect ratio range that we can use is anywhere but from four by five all the way up to 16 by nine vertical, four by five being, being the portrait. All right, so from here, we're gonna jump into Premiere and let's have a look. So once you have Premiere started up, you can go create a new project. I'm gonna save it in my tutorial folder. And you can name it whatever you want. Instagram. All right, so I'm just gonna name it Instagram advert and we can just press okay. I've created a new bin and inside that bin I've just put five clips that I might want to use for my Instagram. Remember, you can use anything here. It's important to use your content and your pictures for your Instagram, especially if it's Instagram advert for a personal account. If it's for a business, obviously the business, you're gonna use business Instagram pictures or you're gonna use pictures of a product or pictures of a service or something to, to that regard. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to create a sequence now. Now, I like to create two sequences, one for my final and the first one for my storage folder of all the items or all the clips that I want to use. So we can go ahead and do that. New item, new sequence. So this you don't have to worry about, but settings, we're going to go into the second, second tab of settings. And this is quite important. So here we want to se select our frame rate. I like to go with 24 frames a second because it's nice and cinematic. Your frame size is where we're gonna, we want to create this custom because there won't be one for vertical. So we're going to create a custom frame size of 1080 by 1350. And as you can see here, that gives us a four by five aspect ratio. Now this is perfect for an Instagram advert. Everything else we can pretty much leave standard just as it is and we can click okay. We can name the sequence. We can name this as final advert. I'm going to create a new sequence just to dump my footage. This doesn't have to, you can just leave that standard. So as you can see, my sequence number four is over there. I'm going to put it underneath my final advert. So my final advert sits on top. My sequence number four, which is my footage dump, is just going to sit right there. So what I want to start doing is I want to go through my, through my bin. And as you can see, I've already selected in and out points. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag all of these into my footage area. So we've now dragged all of our footage into our into our lower area. So what I what I like to do during this section is just watch through the footage and see what it is. That one's me walking, that one's me flying through a bridge. This is the same bridge going up. This one is driving through a tunnel. This one is driving. So there's a little bit of a story or progression. So the tunnel, driving, the valley, These need to be switched around. And then that's us walking, and then that's the bridge and the bridge. Cool. So they nothing is edited together, but it does tell a little bit of a story. Driving through the tunnel, driving away in the car, looking at the valley, over here walking through the thing, there, and the thing. All right, so now we can go ahead and look at our, our main sequence. And this gives me a good idea of what footage I have to work with, what's actually going on. I can see it in a little bit of a story. Obviously, there's no edits together. There's nothing really there. All right, so next we need to select our music. 
So what you really want to do here is use a loop. Loops are much, much, much better than using just a song because people will, won't be able to tell when the, when the advert starts playing again. What Instagram is going to do, it's automatically going to loop this video for you. So if people scroll through it, it's just going to continuously loop. So if you have a 15 second audio loop, that is even better. So let's just have a look at what we got. All right, so we can just start throwing in some footage over here. See, this starts from nothing to that. So what you want to do is you want to get rid of those bars. Obviously, that's not going to look good. Most videos are taken in 16 by 9 aspect ratio, unless you took it on your phone or something like that. You can use pictures here. You can use anything. I'm just going to skip right through to the end when I've edited this footage in together. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've edited our timeline, we can quickly have a look. All right, that's it. So it's a very simple, simple little 15 second video, but the idea is that it's all made out of my content and when people click on it, they will come to my Instagram feed and they will see the same type of content. That's very, very important. Okay, so the most important thing to do at the end of a video like this is not just to show somebody a nice video. You don't wanna pay a bit of money or you don't wanna pay some money, have an advert running that just shows them a video. They can see videos anywhere. You want to have a very clear call to action. This is very important. So I'm going to add a call to action at the end in the form of a title. So my title is just going to say, very simple, very clear. It's gonna say follow Conrad Bester. So this is just going to tell people to follow my Instagram account. So here the key is to be as clear as possible. You don't want any confusion of what they must do at the end of your video. You want them to do one thing and one thing only, and that's to follow you. Or if that's the if that's the goal of your advert. If your advert is to drive more traffic, you want to do that. My advert is to gain more followers on Instagram. So I'm going to make a very clear call to action, follow at Conrad Bester. Here we go. Very, very simple, very quick edit. We just put together a quick video. I'm going to display it now quickly over here. Yeah, buddy. All right. So there we go. We've got our quick edit down, 15 second video. Now let's export it. So we're going to file export. And here, once again, it's important that we that we make sure that it's the vertical that we want. It's the it's the five by four. You can see this aspect ratio is perfect. Um, we can see down here that it's exactly 15 seconds, which is what we want. Um, now we can just set it to where we want to save it. So we can save it as name it whatever you like to save it. Um, we can make sure that that's on H264, which is perfect. Match the source, high bit rate. We can have a look at the bit rate, but essentially we've set everything up in the settings before, so we really don't have to worry about any of this. And we can just hit export. And there we go. Well, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this. Please leave a like if it helped you, or consider subscribing for more videos. Seriously, please subscribe.